Well, welcome everybody, um, and uh, thanks very much for coming. This is teacher, uh, teacher research for different circumstances, so it's going to be quite a long one. Uh, but we don't mind at all if you, you, know, you need to be constantly in some way, that's fine. I don't feel you know, we have to be here for all the time. Um, so, um, Teaching in English in Difficult Circumstances, title of the book by Michael West, published in uh, 1960, a long time ago. Um, he talks about um, uh, defined difficult circumstances, unfavorable circumstances, as um, over 30 pupils, more usually 40 or even 50. Um, they carry from Cameroon last week, you know, that because class sizes are much, much larger in this context. But anyway, um, the sort of uh, situation that Michael West was, was describing, um, when he published that book, um, in 1960, obviously he felt a need to highlight the fact that uh, there are classes like this around the world. Well, in fact, these are normal circumstances for the majority of English teachers around the world, but they are still under-researched, this kind of context, they're still under-considered um, in the mainstream literature, if you like. And so, um, yeah, teaching large classes is one way of describing this kind of situation. It's not just a question of large classes, as, as Michael was highlighted. Now, there was, not, there was a, an initiative in um, the late 80s, uh, Hal Coleman at Leeds, and I think all right at Lancaster, had something called the Large Classes Project, because they were concerned that students were coming to them and saying, well, hang on, the community of ideas you're, you're talking about can't work in my kind of context, students coming from, from developing countries. And this was exactly you know, my experience as well, that uh, there was a mismatch between the sorts of things were being promoted, perhaps in mainstream ELT literature, that we were taught, taught, uh, teaching about in uh, MA programs, Warwick where I teach, and the experiences of uh, students, and some of them are here today, thanks for coming. Um, especially in developing countries, isn't it? We can also talk about teaching in a low resource classroom, there's another aspect, another issue, lacks of technology, sometimes lacks of textbooks. Um, but as I said, this is teaching in normal circumstances for the majority of, of teachers around the world. What we've tried to do about this over since about uh, nine years ago was set up a sort of network trying to recreate the interest in this kind of circumstance. Um, and the network we called it Telfnet, because that's a large class of project sort of uh, declined in the 90s. And this has been going on for about uh, nine years now. We've had a few symposiums at ISF conferences. It's kind of a loose network, really. Different from the Lancaster Leeds project, which is more centered in Lancaster and Leeds. We're trying to uh, link together teacher educators in, in different countries. Um, Harry's been a member of this for, 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 from the beginning. We've also had Rama Matthew as a coordinating member of this, and Fozia Shami together. Uh, we've uh, we've been coordinating this. So we have uh, a website uh, where, where we've built up a number of resources. I, I can't say that we've uh, been very, very active, but over these years we've put up presentations, put up uh, articles that have been published, ideas from, from teachers, etc. Ideas for teacher trainers, maybe you might find something useful there. We've got a Facebook group and it's grown actually into uh, 3,000 members. And um, well, that's pretty good, I mean, these are teachers around the world. So this is this is kind of supported, this is supposed supported by Telpnet. We call it Telpnet, it's a network, also because there is a testing agency called Telp, as you know. So we have nothing to do with that. So we have to change our name. That's a kind of umbrella, if you like, for what's going on today in this symposium. A kind of background. Another background has been um, growing. Um, promotion of teacher research, research carried, initiated and carried out by teachers themselves into their own classrooms, and throwing sort of uh, support for this within the, another association, well, the research sig of ITA. You see that we've made connections with places around the world, groups in different countries, and uh, quite a large emphasis in these different countries on teacher research. And um, these are just, this is just a kind of background umbrella. These are not specifically research project at all. 
These are not telcnet projects that we're going to hear about today. But uh, all of us, is, we are connected in different ways through these two, these two networks, all of us. Um, the projects we're going to hear about so we are in Nepal to some extent, uh, Chile, India, Cameroon. We're going to hear about something where we have been coming together more, uh, which is an electronic village online, uh, which uh, is in the context of TESOL, <coughs> TESOL's uh, call interest section. We're going to hear about that as well. We have a plan there that you've got with you there. Um, we, um, we're bringing together the ideas of teacher research and, and difficult circumstances. This has always been in the mission or the, the aims of Telfnet, that Telfnet has been about bottom-up develop, development of appropriate methodology. And we've seen from the beginning, this was your Chami, we've, we've seen practitioner research as a potential way for teachers, for, for appropriate methodology to be developed <coughs> from the bottom up. And um, we've had a strong focus in Telfnet on teachers' agency, autonomy, to develop themselves uh, as a kind of counterweight to top-down um, exports of, of methods into their, into their contexts. So the idea of practitioner research as one way of addressing difficult circumstances has been with us for, for a number of years as a, as a concept or as a goal. I think this is the first time that we're actually coming together to report on some uh, large, relatively large-scale initiatives. And this is a chance for us to um, step back and to evaluate, take stock of some of these relatively large-scale initiatives. Because teacher, also teacher research as a concept has tended to be thought of as something that teachers do in relatively, let's say, advantaged situations. Rather small groups, the projects that have been reported on in Australia, UK, tend to be small groups, small groups of teachers um, with well-resourced circumstances, with a lot of um, mentoring. And we, I think all of the projects we're going to hear about have involved larger numbers of teachers, teachers in often secondary school contexts or primary school contexts. So we think these are quite new in the field as a way of broadening out the concept of teacher research. We're investigating, we're exploring today um, ways in which teacher research might be a kind of way of addressing difficult circumstances rather than difficult circumstances being necessarily a barrier to whatever we might like to impose on a particular concept. Teacher research seen as something which might enable teacher, uh, teacher research carried out in appropriate ways, and that's what we'll be hearing about, might be a way of actually addressing some of the difficult circumstances that teachers face around the world in, uh, in normal circumstances. In normal circumstances. So you'll see from the program which is on your chair um, that the timing is going to be quite uh, tight, and um, I'm going to be very slow with time, with myself as well, and we're going to have a, a bell ringing when, when time is up. Oh, so that means I've got to move on, because I do want to um, share with you that the idea for this symposium was not mine, it was Prem Pyatt, who's a member of the Telcat Network, unfortunately can't be here, because he couldn't, you know, find the money or, or, or the, the needs, etc. These are problems which face teachers from these contexts, they can't come to a conference like that. So I did want to share with you some words that, that he has, he would have been sharing this together with me. He says, um, although governments in difficult circumstances keep focusing on teacher training as the most dominant approach to teacher professional development, uh, the status of English language teaching has not yet improved. For example, in Nepal, the Ministry of Education claims that more than 90% of PLT teachers have been trained. Yet both students and teachers low level of English proficiency and teacher centered classroom pedagogy in schools demonstrate the inadequacy of teacher training for both teacher professional development and effective English language teaching. So what's wrong with the current practices of teacher professional development? Why are teachers not able to perform well in the classrooms? Answering these questions first invites us to engage in exploring and understanding teachers' own agency, informed by local socio-cultural context. This symposium seeks to explore the ways in which teachers can be engaged in conducting exploratory research activities to unleash and strengthen their agency in difficult and super difficult circumstances. And um, he would have given us a really interesting presentation about what he calls super difficult circumstances because he's been engaging with teachers in post-earthquake uh, post in Nepal 
and um, working with them in research which involves um, exploring with the students <coughs> their attitudes, their reactions to the trauma following the earthquake. Um, so I have to stop there. I'm sorry, um, Prem, to Prem, because I didn't finish reading out everything yet to say. But thanks, Prem, for your contribution to the symposium. Um, that you could be here in some way. I'm just, oh, by the way, we're filming this, we want to share this with a wide audience through TEDNet, which cannot come to conference, for example. If you don't want to be uh, videoed, just tell Jason, it's your right not to be on, on the video, just have a word with Jason and you won't be in the video. But we are going to post the video up on the TEDNet website so that more people around the world can hear about the great project that we're going to hear about. So the first um, presentation is by me.